is very interesting is that now when the separation of the uh, proton and electron happens, which I explain in detail in the book, is that usually we see fragments coming out. They call it radiation, leakage, or whatever. Yeah, of the separation. And this is actually a light. And this light is created not out of what the material of the neutron leaves out. Some of the light comes about because the two magnetosphere of the electron and proton move away from each other. And they create light. And that's what we see as light radiations, gamma rays and the, some visible light. What is very interesting, and that's where I... In the earlier talk, I spoke about it, where the fusion technology of today is going wrong and they will not achieve fusion. As I said all the time, fusion technology of today, the way it's going through tokamak, is a sweet dream which will never come true. The reason being, I explain in a few seconds. First of all, in the world of fusion, they talk about billions of degrees they want to achieve with the center of the sun. As we know, and we are constantly in touch with the plasma physicists and the tokamak systems, is that the gravitational field in the center of these tokamak reactors is 0.1% g, 0.1.6% g. If they are going to replica replicate the, the temperatures and the fusion condition within the center of the sun, what is the gravitational field which is necessary for fusion? Where, where do they come up with the concept of thinking this as a plasma? This is a normal plasma. They use magnetic fields to squeeze it. And then what do they do? When they squeeze it, they make two hard balls out of this plasma, which is soft and gentle. And they try to fuse two hard balls. This does not work. This is a fallacy that the fusion technology can carry on to just to research and development. But first of all, it's illogical to squeeze two balls, which are soft and gentle you can work with, to a small hard ball and then accelerate it and crash it together to fuse. Of course it will never happen. It's a fantastic idea. It's a good research, but not much. In reality, I have a very simple system. This is the shape of a tokamak, a torus reactor. Yeah, very simple. I explain where the difference is. What's the difference? What we developed, we call the plasma dilution technology. It's much easier to mix the content of two soft plasmas, like the egg. That's what it is. An egg is literally another plasma. It's easier to make an omelette with this than trying to make an omelette with a content of two hard-boiled eggs. No one can. And that's exactly what plasma physicists are trying to do. They squeeze, they cook the plasma to a hard ball, and then they want to make an omelette, mix it together. It won't happen. We develop the technology. Which what we do, we soften, we soften the plasmatic magnetic field or magnetosphere around the plasma. It's very easy, it's soft, we soften it. So what they call a Coulomb barrier is reduced. We reduce the Coulomb barrier within the reactor to the level we like because the rest of the environment of the plasma is in the reactor is the same level. So. We come to the level that we would like to release the matter. We take the matter out. We would like to release the antimatter to use this magnetic field strength. We do the same. And then what happens? It's very easy. When it's finished, we allow them to come back to the position. We don't use the matter. We use this magnetic field. And this reduction in the magnetic field strength of the magnetosphere of the plasma, we call it plasma dilution technology. And that is very easy. We can achieve fusion of anything, matter, antimatter, 
heavy elements. We can we have even developed the technology at the same time that we can allow the electron, what are called interatomic fusion. It's easier to fuse atom internally than bringing two plasmas of two different atoms together to fuse. These two were made of from the same source. So if I weaken this, I can allow the electron to come in and get absorbed. I get a fusion. I can manage handle temperature at this level. But when you come to create a, a tokamak condition, several hundreds of millions of degrees temperature, 7,000 degree per the shuttle and re-entry. We don't have the material, we don't have the knowledge, have access to these kind of materials to stand these kind of heats. And as far as I know and the other scientists know, there is no such a material in the universe. But we can reduce, we can reduce the Coulomb's barrier strength, magnetic field strength, because we create plasma the same as this. They just open up. So in fact, they all become part of, if you call this a reactor, the same. So I separate them. And in separating it, I have a plasma. Everything is in the same pattern. Everything is in the same constituent matter. But now I can use the antimatters within the one core in the interaction with the other core. The same principle as we talked about creation of gravity. What happens? I create magnetic field, a strength magnetic field of antimatter in the outer core, and I create a strength magnetic field of the matter, antimatter within the inner core of my reactors. What do I have? A strong, powerful, gravitational, magnetic field condition. This is the breakthrough. This is what we understood. This is what brings back the whole philosophy of gravity, antimatter, and dark matter, and all other factors together. So, we don't need to burn fuel. I finish with my job. I reach the position I want. I want to shut the reactor. I decrease the plasma condition my strength field of the material. Everything goes back together. Voila. I can control, I can manage a few hundred degrees where the Coulomb barriers are in the same level. So, this is what it is. This is creating energy, creating motion, creating, producing materials through the new understanding of fundamental matters, which are the matter, antimatter, and dark matter, without burning fuel, without causing and creating waste and nuclear waste and the rest of it what we've seen. We have gone so far by burning matters that even the planet Earth creating limitation for what we can do any further. With this technology, hydrogen plasma unlimited, no waste, no uh, any damage to the environment. So that's what we call plasma dilution technology in conjunction with magnetic gravitational positioning for motion and for creating, creating energies at all sorts of levels. At the same time, this is very simple. We can read in the book. We have shown very simply how it's done. We have explained very simple. If you do have such a control, this is what I just explained internally, a barrier, and external. So you have two core reactors, outside and inside of planet Earth. So you achieve very simple, very simple results with the very simple actions. So we will speak about the power systems and what people call uh, identified flying objects. Through this technology, nothing is identified. Everything is known.